After I lost both of my parents and I decided there had to be a better way, I started reading and studying and meeting people and it all came together. And I realized that one of the ways to reverse chronic degenerative disease is through nutrition. So I became extremely passionate about nutrition, so passionate, I still am, cheers. <laughs> um, but kind of to the point of no return where I, I almost went too far into nutrition. I had to come back to balance and go, all right, Nutrition is one component, it's not every component. Um, and so I discovered that one of the things that people are also dealed with, dealing with is undealt with unresolved issues. So we all have a trauma that we've been, in most, most people have been through some trauma. It can be very minor trauma to you were made fun of as a kid, not that that's minor, but you know, you were teased and whatever, or to having a being a victim of some sort of abuse or having people in your family be a victim of something so trauma can mean a whole scope of things to different people but if we don't heal that it festers we must heal that in order to be these healthy vibrant beings there is no pill for that an antidepressant does not cure that it is facing the issue it is realizing what you went through honoring it acknowledging it crying it out screaming it out getting that energy out of your body allowing the healing energy to come in so that then you can thrive but until you get there, you're always going to be suffering and you're not going to know why. And eventually, it is um, my belief is that that turns toxic in your body and leads to all kinds of different chronic conditions, if not terminal disease. I really, really, truly believe that a disease such as cancer is multifactorial. Mm -hmm. And so what that means to me is that you didn't just get cancer because of, let's say, a gene. You didn't just get cancer because of your poor diet. You got cancer because of a multitude of factors that all combined together to make the perfect storm of I don't know what the word is, shit. Am I allowed to cuss on here? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but the point is, is that it may be a combination of unresolved childhood issues, festering, poor diet, anger. You know, we don't know. Genes, um, it runs in your family. Like there are so many factors that contribute it contribute to it to make this perfect storm and so you can't blame it on one thing and therefore there isn't one single cure band-aid approach does not work you cannot just kill it with a certain kind of medicine you have to if it's multifactorial cause you have to look at all those causes and heal all those causes what other factors play into whether your body is healthy or diseased you know it's your attitude because you can heal yourself and your body can heal itself, but what are you telling yourself? And if you're telling yourself every day, I'm not good enough, oh, let's say you're drinking your green juice and doing your yoga every day and you're saying, I didn't do enough. That's toxic to your body. And so when you're doing these things to raise your health and to boost your immune system, are you saying, I'm amazing? Or are you saying, well, that, that was stupid. I wasn't as good as the girl next to me in yoga class and I just didn't drink enough green juice today. So what's the point? Well, that's your attitude. That's going to cause you chronic disease before anything else is. So the nutrition is not going to serve my body if I'm bleh, saying, oh, well, that's stupid. If I don't believe it, it's not going to work for me.